Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So today we're going to start a new campaign, playing as someone different than the Enclave. I am sorry, I know some people are going to maybe be upset, but I wanted to have just a small break <clears throat> from playing the Enclave, because we spent about literally two weeks with the Enclave, which is great, it was a lot of fun, but I want a little break, and then after this campaign I'll probably go back to the Enclave and do the focuses and decisions that I didn't try out as the reformist path under Douglas Granite. But for now, as you can probably tell by the thumbnail and the title of this video, I've decided to choose to play as kind of a minor nation, but an interesting, fun country to play as, and that is, of course, the Desert Rangers. Um, brief history, pre-war survival tactics proved incredibly effective when employed by proper survivalists, Desert Rangers strive to protect the innocent from raiders, guarding weaker communities and caravans. Uh, but the leadership leadership is divided on the direction of their organization, which actually I will determine where if we go with Ranger Unification, the Nevada Pact, as well as Steel Rangers. So, obviously, uh, I got to move my coffee cup out of the way. I'm going to leave historical AI focuses off for now, just to see what happens. Custom game rules. Um, it's just basically everyone starts the exact same way. Uh, someone asked me if I should play something harder or... Uto Bithy. Okay, I thought I said Uto something else. But okay, whatever. What does this do? State of... Oh. Replace the Mojave chapter. I'm going to actually try this out when off screen. But like I was saying, someone wanted me to tr maybe think about considering playing as a much tougher nation such as the Mojave chapter. Which sounds fun, sounds interesting. I'll try that on my off time. But anyways, we're playing as the Desert Rangers today. Um, the way I play them, or the way I like to play them, uh, is, isn't too difficult. Fairly, fairly easy. Nothing too majorly hard. But I do remember someone early on, or in the last campaign, told me to go for Dynamite early on because they got a lot of soft attack. I'm going to do that immediately. But, yeah. I chose the Desert Rangers just because I wanted, like I said, a small break from the Enclave. And then we'll go back to them in the next playthrough. But I chose them because it, I don't think that this campaign will take too much time to do. I mean, I'm sure it'll take some time. But compared to the Enclave, this campaign in my mind will go a little bit faster than um, previous campaigns. So just because actually I tried this last night and we will be going to War of the Vipers very soon. So... It only took me like two hours for me to beat the NCR as well as the Legion. Of course, I was in a faction, so that kind of helped. But we'll see what happens. Alright, Desert Origins. Well, as you can tell, the Desert Ranger mod descriptions for the Ranger Origins is very fleshed out immediately at the current moment of... Today's August. August 2019. So, we go to the Army Corps of Engineers, which we get more division speed by 30%, which is kind of insane if you think about that. That's a lot of speed. But we get a motorized unit. We get Army Ranger Battalions, which helps us with training and a Special Forces unit. Or we go to the National Guard, which gives me 15% construction speed and two units of infantry, which I think is the best. More construction speed is absolutely mandatory for the way I play my Desert Rangers. And then we'll go with the Prison here, which was the original base of operations for the Desert Rangers and when founded contained a vast number of criminals and scum. The Rangers needed the manpower direct dearly, but on the same note, many did not feel accepting criminals into the ranks would be benefit them in the wrong in the long run. Not the wrong run, but the long run. Cool. Look at this description. Uh, this national spirit will last forever, so I could accept all the criminals. I get two military factories, lose stability and war support, but gain 1,200 manpower. Accept petty criminals. I get a civilian and military workshop. Uh, I lose a little bit of stability war support, but I do get 900 manpower, or exile the criminals where I don't get any debuffs, I get stability, I get war support, and two civilian factories. Uh, playing as a Desert Rangers, I really, really need manpower. I'm not going to accept the criminals because I don't want to lose that much war support or stability, but I don't mind doing this because I both get a factory, two types of, one type, two types of factories, two factories in total, and more manpower for just a very, very minor debuff, so that's not bad. And Peacekeepers of Nevada which the people of Nevada are for, forever in debt to the Rangers and often shower in them what supplies I can spare. Catching on to this early on, the Rangers were faced with a simple, more dilemma. Do you help those who can reward you the most or help those who can't afford to, to reward you? Actually, that's a, pretty, that's a pretty good dilemma to think about if you really want to help the people of your area. 
Uh, yeah, not bad. I did try out the music mod for Old World Blues, actually, and it it was okay. It wasn't great, so I, I disabled it for this run. If I can get it to work properly, I might enable it for the next campaign, which might start in a week, depending on how fast we can play the Desert Rangers. But anyways, we're the peacekeepers of the Mojave. We can focus on protecting the weak, which will get a little bit of resources and some manpower. Protect everyone, where we get some manpower and some resources. Or we go protect the wealthy, where we get no manpower, but we get a lot of resources. Right now, we ha only have minus seven metal, which we need more metal. But I need more manpower, because you know... Oh. Ooh, I have not been training my soldiers. That's something I forgot. Uh-oh. That's actually probably not good for us. Doesn't matter, though. So, I need more manpower. I'm going to go ahead and protect everyone, because that's, I think, a good balance. We get a little bit more manpower, as well as metal, which we could really use. I'm going to go to War of the Vipers. Uh, actually, the way I set this up is actually really good. Yeah, very nice. Uh, sure, we can get a Gilbert Grossbeck. I need to promote him, but we don't have enough command power, which is totally fine. Totally, totally fine. Uh, let's see. Hollow tapes. I'm not going to play these hollow tapes just because you can play them on probably on your own time if you want to. But I think most people who are watching, or at least some people who are watching, have played Fallout New Vegas and have seen that stuff before. So Viper is very nice. I'm going to immediately go to war with them and then do the Jackals next. Go ahead and go to war. And this is how I roll. Take all but one, take you two, take you two, come up here, you two come over to here, and then you will come up there. Nice. No buffs to really attack through these guys, but using, what is this, six divisions against one, we should be able to win fairly nicely, we'll say. Let's use on patriotism, don't want to lower my war support because it's only at 8%. Not bad, not bad, though. 94... 95, 96, 90. Troll Warns declared war on the Marrow Drinkers. Very nice. Very nice, my friends, my boys. Awesome job. We took Bloody Springs, so we took the little um, supply base. And we're going to just cut these guys off immediately. Awesome. So, I don't really want to waste manpower. So, I'm not going to attack immediately. I want these guys to starve just a little bit first. Because, as you can tell, we're out of manpower. And I want to make sure... Let's see... If the Brotherhood's going to win their war against these two nations or not. Because they could be kind of a problem in the future if I don't do anything. Also, I do want to bring up that, yes, I did not do a world conquest or, I guess, a semi-continent conquest at the end of my Enclave run. Just because, I mean, once you beat the Legion and the NCR and have the Brotherhood under you, there's not really much of a challenge. Yes, I could have kept playing, but I really wanted to move on. So, oh, But we have Dynamite. Dynamite. I love it. So we did that. I need to actually get, oops, r research speed going for this. And immediately go ahead, and if you can, get uh, a little bit of a sprinkle of dynamite. Does dynamite cost... Oh, it doesn't cost support equipment. Huh. I thought it really did. So. So do that. Do that. That'll be good. And actually, come up to three just because I know... Playing as a Desert Rangers, you're going to be able to produce so much infantry equipment, it's not even funny. It's ridiculous how much infantry equipment you can build up. And now we can't do any other focus, which is totally fine, because I could actually really, really use more political power. Cool, so let them just run their soldiers against me until they're all gone. Oh, hello there. Hello there. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. As they are quickly running out of manpower... And I don't want to use up my own. Very nice. And there's really no point for me to try to kill these guys off as fast as possible. I don't get anything extra except maybe a few factories that I can kind of use a little bit. So, uh, since we're here, I'm going to tell you guys, let you guys off. You guys come here. Both of you come down here. Take one off. Come over there. And the other one come here or something. Like, something like that. Very nice. These guys will get crushed and circle two more divisions. Capitulate them. Have a great time. Let the enemy panic a lot. Do that. You guys could probably come over here. And let you come here. And then Viperness and the 305. Love it. And they're going to attack me as they begin to panic. Very nice. And they're panicking. Go ahead and station yourself over here. Honestly, I really don't need that many divisions over here. 
Are you both? You are both leaving, which is not good. I want to send you this direction. Because I want to absorb as much army XP as I possibly can. Oh, look at that political power. I love it. Oh, they actually left. Ah, if they take that province, it really doesn't matter. Hmm. Yeah, it really doesn't. Thing is, as long as this one division could get to the 305. Ah, very nice. I mean, if they want to just waste their manpower, that's fine with me. I could use as much army XP as possible, so. Very nice. We did a great job, guys. Immediately, next we're going to go with Spawn 2 Special Forces because I will immediately pretty much go to war with the Jackals next. Because they're slightly more difficult to fight, but not that much more difficult. And I want to justify on the Yakuza because I want as much land as possible. Mmm, love my coffee. Cool. Let our guys get down, get them situated, let them have a good time, no planes. We've got oral instruction. Um, anything else here? Really, really interested. Reinforce rate sounds pretty good to me. We actually don't have a deficit of anything at the moment, except manpower. We need more infantry equipment, obviously, but that comes with time. As our soldiers are getting ready, go ahead and promote him. We need a commanding officer. Very nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. He's level zero, but that's okay. I will go to war with these guys as soon as we get Ranger Team Vipera. Alright, get these guys on there. Get Viper Venom, add civilian workshops. Great stuff. Do that. Actually, throw you onto the area here as well. Because two extra divisions can mean a whole lot of a difference. Do that last night. Very nice. He's a cavalry leader. And actually, I definitely want to get to military theorists as fast as possible. Alright, very nice. Let you guys get situated, get the ranger units up here. They're they're okay, they're only 12 combat width. So they're not super great, but they're there. Alright, so as you can tell, <clears throat> attacking early game, pretty smart idea. Because the enemies don't really have a lot of divisions to help guard their areas. And I love it. Actually, you could probably just make your way down there. You guys take that, take... Uh, take one to come that way because then they'll start splitting off some of their divisions to help guard their holes in the line Nice, we got a hundred and five political power Oh, they're starting to move Which is fine. Go ahead and start moving in uh, You probably won't be able to make it a Hawthorne, which is fine with me. I don't really care. Oh Move you up this way. You're coming that way. Oh, hello there. No, I do not want you to move. I want to at least take the tile first before you move. Woodworking is done. Good. Ohm's Law. Let's get some more monthly construction speed. And continue... Oh, I neglected my land doctrine. That's not important, right? Very cool, very cool. Ooh, actually. If we just take Hawthorne now, we could potentially split this one division off. Help attack. I need to get more manpower. And, oh, we couldn't, we couldn't encircle and destroy the division, but whatever. Drawing Venom, so we get more cores, more manpower. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, baby. Ooh, my goodness. Nice, Hawthorne is ours. Push it in. I'm joined here by my cat named Binky, as he's just sleeping peacefully on the floor. Um, let's see. They're actually not doing very well. All we need next is Bridgeport, and they'll capitulate, so... Manpower, very low, up to 11 divisions. We have 15, which is very nice. So let's go ahead and just crush them from one side. Oh, we had a little bit of manpower right there. I just saw that. About 10 guys were available. But no longer. But no longer. Go ahead and try to smash them in if you can. Maybe they can't. Oh, actually, you should throw, be thrown in here too so you can help widen the combat width. Maybe you can't win. Maybe you can. Slowly, you will win, though. Is there anywhere else we can strike? Drawing Venom. Nice, we got some cores. Combat language. Cool. Raider Conscription. Viper Outpost. Let's go with the Conscription for more population. Decryption sounds good to me. If I threw two divisions this way... Well, I guess technically three. Could that be useful? Oh, I paused it. There you go. Uh, oh, an extra division, finally. Nice. 
for you, do I have enough for offensive doctrine? Yes, that could actually help us quite a bit. Yep, that definitely helped us. Increasing your field marshal's attack by one can really help. Very good. Venas. Alright, so that the other attacks aren't really working. That's fine. That is totally A-OK. -okay. Let them attack me. We can themselves out. No problem. No problem. Have a little bit of fun with these guys. Yes, we don't have a ton of manpower. Actually, we have none. But that's okay. Ooh. Because I could go to war economy. I really need military theorists for more army XP. But I need some more manpower. So I'm going to go with recruitable population first. Uh, those guys are gone. Very nice. If we can push into there. That would be great. But if we can't, that's going to be kind of a problem to a degree. Uh, oh, actually. Actually, some people are a little bit distracted. Can we attack? Oh, we can attack that way. No, no, no winning, no winning. Alright, that's fine. Go ahead and hold for now, everyone. Take a quick break. We're not really needed for anything at the current moment. We've got a little bit of army XP, so let's go ahead and get some explosive support on these bad boys. And actually increase infantry like this to 20 width. Which will ruin my divisions, but that's okay. It was a little bit easier when I tried this before, but whatever. Hmm, reference manual. Uh, planes. Planes, planes, planes are important. Militia stuff would be nice. Don't really need it at the current moment. Infantry, defense, and motorized. Sounds pretty good to me as well. Give our guys just a few more days so we can get a little bit more dynamite. A little bit more basic weaponry. I think that'd probably be for the best. Their manpower, like, oops, ours, probably isn't super... Eh, they got a little bit of manpower. I need to actually win here, though. That's the problem. I actually have to win. If I tried another attack... Oh, we might not. Might, might not. Because they are kind of dug in a little bit. And actually, since we did that, that's fine. Come on, guys. Oh, we actually might lose here. I will tire my guys out if I have to, which is actually probably a terrible idea. Yeah, let's not tire my guys out. What I could do, though, is... Hmm. I could try to bait the enemy into attacking me. That's what, that's what I usually like to do. So take two. And come over here. Do that. I want them to bait themselves into attacking me. We'll try it out. If it works, if it... It works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So, whatever. Because your divisions are just getting more strength as we're just kind of sitting here. So, um, Give me another one. Give me another one. Come on, guys. I This might work. This might not. Let's throw all you guys over here. No, so far they're not tempted to leave their divisions, which kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. Yeah, actually this was so much easier earlier. I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. Now they're baited into attacking me like crazy. Yep. I like what I'm doing here. Oh, don't you love exploiting the Hoi 4 AI? And since they're crazy to attack me, like how I was crazy to attack them, we've lost 153, they've lost 314, and any manpower they're going to get from incorporating slavers that they did earlier... Probably isn't going to help them a whole lot. Yeah, their manpower is just going to go straight down as they are attacking me like crazy. But yeah, we could really use more explosive equipment and guns. Oh, baby, look at that. Uh, I definitely need this first before I go to anything else. Obviously, we can't do anything here, which is totally fine. So right now, actually, this is not a bad idea to just rack up some more XP. Army XP as well as division XP. So I think this is... An okay idea to do. Oh, and we also get infantry expert. Oh, so good. Just let them just keep wailing themselves against me. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Could use more manpower, but we are slowly, slowly mobilizing our units. So, uh, let's see. You are level 3, you're level 1, you're level 1 as well. Uh, slowly becoming a mountaineer, looks like, for some of these divisions. Leather armor. Very nice. Ooh, just go ahead and do organized state of farming. How many more days until... Oh, I can go to war with them immediately. Very nice, very nice. 
It looks like some of these divisions are actually so weak that it won't matter if I attack them. We need to go to war with the Yakuza on March 1st. We got a little bit of time. Maybe they'll attack me again. Maybe they won't. But I'm a little impatient. Do that. Uh, no, get me out of this. Add you four back to the line. Add you five back to the line. And we're going to strike right where my mouse is next. I think this will be a great move. A pro gamer move. Oh, yeah. This should be all right. Uh, take you guys. Take you guys. And give me all three of you guys. I'm going to attack that way. And definitely dive bombers. If I can, I will get these guys. Cool. Yeah, they had no choice. Oh, they actually took back another place. That's all right. My goal is just Bridgeport, so. And since they're attacking me, it might not be a bad idea to attack them. Ah, yes. Lovely. Th throw in three more divisions. Kaiser's Legion declared war on somebody, but what else is new? We've got some more entrenchment speed. Speed? Speed. And stuff like that, as we are slowly not winning the battle. Oh, hold on. Throw another division in there. Throw another division in there. Throw that division in there. All that really matters is for me to get Bridgeport, so. There we go. That took me a little bit longer than I would have liked, to be honest with you. Cool. Come back here. Give me more two more special forces units. I immediately want to go to war with the Yakuza. Just because they eventually will have more and more divisions. Right now we have more, but that could quickly change. Yes, my divisions aren't exactly super strong, but maybe we can bait the enemy into attacking us. Ah, very nice. And we're ready to go. Alright, here we go. Third, literally the third time we're going to go to war in this episode. Uh, actually, that's not bad. You, you move up. You come that direction. Is there any holes we can exploit? No, no, no. They have it pretty well covered around here. What I could do... You coming down here. You coming up here. You could move and maneuver this way as we're going around here to capture that... Or encircle... The motorized division, actually. You come this way. As we have encircled them. And we're going to destroy that unit. Ranger Team Canis, two more special forces. Dog Kennel for more civilian factories. I love it. Ah, oh, yes. Please. Ooh, do they have another hole? No, that's still that division over there. Very good. Just destroy that division if we can. Help me destroy it. Alright, very nice. Uh, just take that. Kaiser's Legion declared war on them. Whatever. Good enough, they're attacking us as they are dying. Awesome. Go straight for Carson City if you can. Cool. And take all this if you can. Whee! Got a little bit of political power I see I could use. Hmm. I, wish I, want, to go I want to go to war economy, but I'll go with partial mobilization first so I can build things a little bit faster. Oh, and it's paused. Five civilian factories becomes five civilian factories. Oh, they came back. Are they... No, they're still... Oh, we actually have someone in... Eh, not quite in circle just yet. You don't need to move. Hold on. Hold up. Get me out of this. Thank you. <clears throat> I need you to stall these guys for a little bit. Come up this direction. Actually, exploit that way. Come over here. Come over here. And then just push that way. I want to get rid of this other motorized division. That would be good. Just go that way then, guys. Very nice. And come down there. They will be nice and taken care of. As long as there's no extra tile right there. Awesome. Very nice. Easy peasy. Well, relatively easy. Ooh, actually, can we come this way and try to encircle this other motorized division? That'd be a lot of fun. And, yeah, we did. Cool dog's kennel. Bring the dogs to heal. Now we get three more cores. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Do that, do that, do that. And move on up. Lots of maneuvering when you have no manpower. Or very, very little manpower, at least. Uh, move up. Yeah, these guys are encircled. Yeah. <clears throat> these guys right now are so much easier to take out in the early game than later in the game. I even struggled with them a little bit when I was playing as the Enclave. 
But then again, that's the enclave. What do you expect? Oh, baby. Looks like some people have abandoned the line. But since I don't really have enough manpower yet, I'm going to manually do this. Very good. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Is this what they call a pro-gamer move? And then y'all come over here. Y'all come up here. Awesome. Uh, you really don't need to attack right now. I'm totally fine if you don't. But I want you guys to attack this way. Because I want to capture Fallon. Last night falls ill. So be it. Whatever. Why don't you come up this way and free to take that as well. That'll be great. Oh, they actually abandoned the line because they knew they were going to get encircled. Interesting. They actually knew they were going to get encircled. Well, then we're just going to keep pummeling the heck out of your soldiers, my friend. Alright, at this point, you might as well just... Actually, you don't even have orders. There you go. Uh, Take both of you and take both of you this way. God dang it. I wanted to actually, like... Encircle some soldiers, but whatever. It didn't. It doesn't matter. I've already taken them out. Taken them out. I have already taken out within this episode three enemy nations, and I have greatly expanded expanded the Desert Rangers. And we got more resources. Great. We've got more factories. Who to take out next? I want to take out the Sky Reavers just because I want Area 51. But they got up to 17 divisions, quite a bit of manpower over here in the Ripe Root territory. They got not a lot of manpower. Not really allied with anybody. The Grabber Territory has six divisions. Oh, Vault City. Vault City's kind of big. Hmm. Vault City actually might be a really good place for me to take out. If I end up going to war with Vault City, could I take out Cyclops tribes and whatnot? Well, frankly, they have up to ten divisions. We might be able to push through their ten divisions, though. So right now... I'll, I will go to war with the Vault City people if I can. 200 days. Probably actually won't be able to because right now we're going to focus very hard on making sure we have the best army in the area. Bring the dogs to heal. Very nice. We got some more cores. Um, infrastructure and outposts or 5 water, 5 something, and then 1500 manpower. You know me. I love my boys. Military society. Lose stability in exchange for war support. Not bad. Not bad. And we can also build up stuff here. So let's go ahead and repair everything here since they can't really tear it down too much anymore. They have a lot of ghouls. That might not be good. Hmm. And it's looking... Oh, no. That's super mutants. They do have some machine guns and explosive support. So that's not good for us. I don't need this. Elite Rangers team. Can I add on one more? No, I cannot. Um, add the explosive support to the Rangers. I will research machine guns next, because since they have them, I'm going to need them. National Guard soldiers. Actually, I need to convert you guys as well. Do that for now. Uh, so, yeah. Free Yarrington. The cause has been annexed. Jackal Outpost. Cool. Organized potato farming. Awesome. Immediately go ahead and grab some machine guns. So the Washington Brotherhood has somehow survived. That might not be good for us. Harold Haggerty falls ill. Anyone have upgrades? No, you're level 2, level 4, level 2. Alright. Scrap your dive bomber. Alright. Get more research speed because I think for the entire campaign, we're only going to have like three research slots. Isn't quite ideal, but whatever. And we also have quite a bit of manpower, so that's actually kind of nice. Yeah, there's really not much we can do here. Focus on the internal sphere. I want to do this. Uh, more stability, less war support, but I'm going to do this at the same time. So basically, we don't get stability, but we do get a little bit more war support. Yes, I could have used it for something else, but whatever. And the Jackal Outpost is done. Awesome. So, I'm going to actually end the episode here just because... Some people are going to recommend in the comments below about what decision I should take next because we are at the point where I can either go with the Brotherhood on the left, the Western Brotherhood, I can go by myself under Snake Vargas, or I can ally with the NCR. Now, I know what I'm going to end up doing, or probably will end up doing because that's the path I most likely choose, 
but I want your comments below and I want your feedback as well. So, with that in mind, we've done a great job so far as the Desert Rangers. We took out three of our enemies. We're planning for another assault on the enemies up north, which actually will be probably a really tough battle to do. But anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we will probably end up in a war against Vault City. Thank you for watching.